Bottle Hall time, drinking buddies. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. I got this package from Oregon Spirits. Let's see what they sent me. Let's see, looks like I got some, some stickers, which is pretty cool. A little thing about some of their whiskeys. Let's see what you sent. Oh, guess I should have opened these in advance. I didn't know it was gonna be this hard. All right, we have the straight bourbon whiskey. This is one I've had before, but that's okay. I'm happy to have more. That's a four grain straight wheat whiskey. I've had this before too. I actually quite enjoy it. Oh, more bourbon. Rye, all right. I haven't had that rye. It's another rye. So we got two of the wheats, two of the rye, two of the bourbons. So this will be fun to put into something. It'll definitely show up on the channel soon. So it goes off to the side here. Clean up some of my mess. Let's have some now. Rye. Oregon Spirit Rye Whiskey. Let's go. Oh, it's very herbal on the nose. Mint and um, the dill. Ninety proof. Aged four years. It says on there. Sweet. Minty, very herbal, very herbal. Yeah, I wouldn't say this one has got much of that rice spice as much as it's got the, the herbaceous qualities you get off of some rice. It's a decent pour, I, I do like it. Nice thing is, is these are fairly budget bottles as well. Now let's look at some of the other stuff I got recently. Barrel. I'm not sure what I've shared with you. I know I got a review of the Vantage out, but I recently got this store pick from Nana's Kitchen of Barrel Private Reserve. This is going to be 40% uh, five-year bourbon, 7% 10-year bourbon, and 15% 17-year bourbon. Uh, I helped pick them. I helped, I helped them pick this barrel, and uh, yeah, uh, I love this. Really good. I haven't popped it yet because uh, oh, I did pop it. Just kidding. I popped it at some point. Very good stuff. Barrel Batch 33 is another one I got. Picked it up at Nana's Kitchen. Really good bottle. Um, might be my favorite bourbon uh, batch from them so far. Uh, my current winner right now is 27, so I'd kind of like to put this one up against the 27 to see if I like it more. I also picked up from Nana's Kitchen the two bottles of New Lou um, West Coast exclusives. So this one is going to be the toasted small batch and this one's going to be the um, toasted French oak stay finished. Uh, this one's 104 proof, this one's 110. And when I had them both there at Nana's, uh, the, the, the French one was the one that jumped out at me as being just fantastic. Really, really like that bottle. Um, really excited to share that with you. I think I'm going to put the French oak stay finished one up against some um, some other really good French oak finish whiskeys, maybe that barrel, um, Vantage, maybe um, maybe FAE02, maybe that Oak and Eden that I have here that's finished with a French oak stave in it. Um, anyway, that's coming up soon. Next up, I got a pretty great haul at Total Wine last week. Um, I gotta be honest, I thought that all chances of getting anything good at Total Wine there for a while had completely dried up and I was about to uh, rage quit whiskey hunting, but then I found this bad boy. I'm really excited for it. Review to come. I had to pop it the night I got it home, so you'll see it, is, it has been popped. But uh, Knob Creek 18 year. Um, review to come. Or maybe you've already seen it, <laughs> depending upon my schedule. And then next up, I went in on Friday and they had a huge Buffalo Trace drop. 
uh, Eagle Rare, E.H. Taylor, Weller Special Reserve. I did pass on those three bottles as well as Caribou Crossing, but I did pick up an Elmer T. Lee and I picked up a Blanton's uh, Mini. Um, sounded like uh, might have gotten a lot of other deliveries that day for upcoming raffles um, from what the employees were talking about. Really excited for all of that. I am in the raffles this year, so hopefully I can get something really cool to share with you guys on the channel. Uh, maybe I'll get some VTAC or some Pappy or something in that raffle. Fingers crossed. Um, if not, I, I'm sure I can come away with something like a Weller CYPB or, or something like that, I hope. Um, you know, it'd be pretty disappointing to spend all of that money and to walk away with zero bottles out of the raffle. So hopefully I win at least something. Drinking buddies, I really appreciate you watching. If you have a moment, go to www.imyourdrinkingbuddy.com. Check out my merch. Got a bunch of cool t-shirts there. I think you might like them as whiskey fans. We will see you on the next one.